Hey, what is going on, Scorpios? Butch Cheryl here. I am going to do your one month read from now um, until the end of April. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Um, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, rules can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, gonna be using this new deck I just got. Um, the Sugar, Sugar Skull Tarot deck. Uh, I mean, I've always enjoyed um, how beautiful the Day of the Dead, you know, celebrations were. And, you know, I always kind of love Sugar Skulls. Uh, kind of showing the sweetness of life. So I hope you enjoy as well. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe. Universe, what is going on for Scorpios for April 2024? What message do we have for Scorpios? One thing I'm going to say with this deck is it's really big. Uh, I have bigger hands, so I enjoy it, but it's almost a little bit too big for my hands. But, um, yeah, so we'll just say that. Now, the first thing that I see for you, Scorpio, is I, I mean, I'm getting two different energies here. We're going to start with the first one that, that I'm getting is I feel like this is someone that you're already dealing with, you know, someone you may already have a connection with. Now, with this person, you know, I'm getting a lot of, I mean, we got the five of pentacles starting off, you know, that hot and cold energy. You know, and I feel like that causes a lot of chaotic energy. You know, I feel like this person is in and out. You know, you never really get a read on what this person wants. You know, and, and I feel like with this person, because it's hard to get a read on them, it, it's, it causes a lot of tension between the two of you. You know, I, I, I feel like you want more from this person, but I feel like you never, they never really show up. You know, they never really, I feel like they speak a good game. They talk a good game, but I, I feel like when it comes to actually walking the walk, you know, they're, they're not really there. You know, I, I, I feel like this person is very impulsive and you're never really knowing what you're going to get from them. You know, and I, and I mean, I get the sense of this person also. I mean, I feel like they're not being honest with you. And I feel like you already know that. You know, I feel like there's already something that isn't right. And with that Seven of Swords, you know, I... things just aren't adding up. 
You know, things are just, it's not as easy as it should be. You know, and, and it feels like they may be hiding something from you, which I feel like they, you know, I feel like they are. You know, I feel like this person has trust issues. You know, I feel like they have a hard time letting anyone in. You know, I mean, they're always looking over their shoulder. I mean, we have the moon card. You know, with that moon card, I mean, it's almost like thinking about you're in the middle of the woods and you can see the moon and that's the only light you really have. And there's so many shadows around you. You know, that's how I feel like with this person. It's like, you never, I mean, there's there, there's times when you, you feel like you can see this person clearly, but then there's also times when you're just waiting for that other shoe to drop. You know, you're wondering what's lurking in the shadows with this person. And like I said, I mean, I feel like in, it's almost like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, like, you know, there's something wrong here, but you're, you can't put your finger on it. But like I said, with that chaotic energy, that hot and cold, you know, never really knowing what you're going to get from this person next. I mean, you, you can't really, you, you really can't commit to that. And like I said, I feel like this person has trust issues. And because of those trust issues, I feel like they're not being honest with you. Uh, with that Queen of Swords, I feel like they've been hurt to the point where they're not really looking for love. You know, they're looking for security. You know, they're looking for someone that's going to give them what they want. But I don't feel like they have much to offer you in the way of what you want. You know, like that two of wands as well. You know, I, I really feel like they don't know what they want. You know, but like I said, I, I mean, I feel like they know. One thing is clear. They know they don't want to do it by themselves. They can't do it by themselves. So they, they kind of need someone to take care of them. But when it comes to them taking care of you, I don't see that changing. You know, and I feel like you, you may have this connection with this person. And I'm not saying this person doesn't have feelings for you. But I, I, I feel like it's it's going to be a long time if ever you see those. And I feel like there's going to be a lot more chaos to come with this person. You know, I, I feel like this person is going to leave you hanging. And I feel like you're going to get hurt. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. You know, I, I feel like this person... Like I said, this is for security. I mean, they don't know what they want. That's why this isn't moving forward. You know, this is why you're not getting what you want from this person. And I don't feel like you ever really will. But truth be told, I feel like you already know that. You know, I feel like your intuition is already telling you that. And another thing that I feel like this person, another way this person is affecting your future is I, I, I feel like they're kind of hogging your time. You know, they're kind of hogging your attention when your attention should be focused on something else. Because like I said at the beginning, I, I feel like there is another energy here. <clears throat> now with this other person, this other energy, you know, I feel like it's, this is someone that you can you know, you can rely on. I, I, I feel a friendship with this person. I feel trust. You know, this is someone that you can trust in, you can depend on, you can rely on. You know, with that Three of Cups and also that Knight of Pentacles, that slow and, you know, I, I feel like this is someone that, that slow and steady energy, but that's always steady. You know, things that are moving slowly with this person. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with the focus that's being put on this other person, this first person that we talked about. You know, sometimes when we want something um, or we put so much effort into something, we kind of miss what's going on around us. And I feel like with this this other energy that I'm feeling, uh, you know, I feel like you're missing what's right in front of you because you're seeing, you, you, you have too much of your focus on this other person. But in all reality, what I'm seeing is there's a lot more going on with this 
you know, this other energy towards you. You know, I feel like with this person, there's a lot of potential. You know, as well as I feel like this person truly thinks about you and they truly have your best interests at heart. You know, I feel like this is someone that you're going to find it very easy to talk to. You're going to find it very easy to confide in this person. And I feel like the only reason you haven't seen this yet is because of the focus being so much on this, this path, you know, this, this first person. Um, you know, the, the, this person, this new person, uh, this is someone that thinks about you and only you. You know, this is someone that, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of potential here. But as long as we're focusing on this other person, we're not seeing what's right in front of us. You know, with this, with this other energy, I mean, this is someone that shows up. This is someone that puts in the work. This is someone that wants to move forward. This is someone that wants to have a future with you, you know, with that chariot. And we have that eight of pentacles putting in the work, showing up. You know, and I, and I feel like, to be honest with you, I, I do feel like there is, I mean, from day one with this new person, there is some, there is feeling. Uh, there's definitely something there. I mean, we, we're talking about, like, we go into that iceberg love, like I said. I mean, we can see that there's something. Um, but we're sailing around with this 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 first person too much. You know, we, we, need to, we need to sail a little closer to the iceberg. And then we can really see how deep that really goes. Because I feel like there's a real... A really strong connection that you can have once the focus is taken off the wrong person. You know, I feel like you know what you want out of a partner. And sometimes we meet someone and they sell, you know, like I said, this first person, I feel like they, they kind of sold you the dream. You know, it's kind of like that used car salesman. I mean, they're, they're trying to convince you that everything that you want is right there and they have it to offer. But like I said, that once you drive off the lot, you realize you got ripped off. But this other person, I mean, this person, is, it, it, I, I feel like you can have a real future with this person. Like I said, this is someone that I, I feel like thinks about you. I feel like this is someone that you can confide in. This is someone you have a lot of potential. This is someone that shows up. This is someone that thinks about you. This is someone that knows what they want. You know, and... I mean, I feel like this person understands you better as well. You know, the more time you give this person, the more they're going to understand you because they want to understand you. You know, that's the thing about life. A lot of times we get with someone and they don't they don't seem to understand us. A lot of times that's just because they that lack of interest. They don't want to understand us because anybody that wants to really understand us, I feel like it puts the time in. But like I said... With this, with this new person or this other energy. I mean, this could be someone you already know. It could be a, someone you already have a friendship with. But I feel like there's definitely something more going on there. And it's something that uh, deserves more of your time. Rather than this first person we talked about. Because I really feel like this is just kind of... You know, I, I feel like this is kind of a nowhere road. I mean, it, it's not my decision to make decisions for you. I'm just giving you the facts that I see. Um, like I say with this, this other person, this new person, I keep calling a new person because it's like a new energy, but like I said, it could be someone you already know, uh, but this person actually wants a future. They're looking for someone to share their, you know, their life with, uh, this is someone that's going to, that's going to want to make you a real offer. I mean, it's overall energy here is letting go of what doesn't suit you um, with that devil card, letting go of the things that are holding you back. And I feel like this first person, I, I truly feel like they're holding you back. You know, I, I feel like they're not offering you what you want or what you need. Or should I say they're offering it, but they're not going to hold up their offer. But I do see this other person as someone that 
that truly cares about you. Someone that truly wants to get to know you. And I feel like they already have a better understanding of what you want. You know, I, I feel like this is someone that could make you happy. That could fill up your cups. You know, and this person, is, like I said, they, they want to make you that offer. They want to keep going. They want to see where this is going. You know, as, as well, um, you know, I, I feel like this is someone, like I said, I feel like they get you. And what they don't get, they'll learn. You know, I mean, it's night and day here. I mean, this is one person, that, you know, the first person that we see, like I said, a lot of chaotic energy, a lot of in and out, a lot of hot and cold, um, a lot of deception, a lot of secrets, not knowing what they want, very impulsive, you know, very back and forth very quickly. And, and like I said, I mean, I... I feel like with this person, there's always that underlining fear that they don't know what they want. So what can, how can you invest in something if you don't know what you want from it? But like I said at the beginning, I feel like you already know that. Now with this new person, it is, it is new. But I mean, we have... Like I said, I mean, I feel like there's there's promise here. There's there's a future here. There's someone willing to put in the work. There's someone willing to, you know, that wants to move forward, that's willing to give you loyalty, willing to give you trust. And I mean, we have new love with this new person as well. And the lover's card, I mean, I feel like night and day energy. You know, this other person, this new person that we're talking about, and I keep referring to as a new person because I feel like it's an energy that you haven't felt yet. Or at least you haven't felt the full scale of it. I mean, this person knows they want someone to have a future with. They, they're they ready to invest. They're emotionally mature. I mean, it, it, I couldn't, I can't say it any differently. The first person that we have here, not emotionally invested. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of emotion at all. I mean, with that person, I'm getting more of a, kind of like they need you more than they want you you know we have uh we have some aries and some sagittarius some gemini libra and aquarius we have some virgo and some capricorn you know, and with this, with this newer energy, this, this person that I feel like is, is coming in, you know, it, it is much different of a vibe. I mean, we have, we have Gemini, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we have some Capricorn, some, some Virgo, some Taurus. That's the thing, uh, I mean, that's what I have for you. I mean, that's, that is the thing though. Is sometimes we meet people that don't know what they want, but they have a good idea of what we want. So they just sell us that dream. You know, they sell us, it's, it's, it's a form of breadcrumbing. I mean, they're giving you a little bit to get what they want. But it's inconsistent, it's unreliable. And sometimes we're so focused on that, we don't see what's right in front of us. And that's where the second energy comes in, is not seeing the full scale of what this person is offering or wants to offer you. you know, sometimes we're just looking the wrong way. Um, there's a quote that I, I remember hearing a while ago. Um, in life, you can only go one way. So always go forward. You know, as long as we're looking backwards, we can't move forward. And sometimes, unfortunately, people come into our life that causes us to look backwards. You know, and, and because they get to know us a little bit better, um, they have a way of, of playing us a little bit more. 
and it happens to everyone. It's not, you know, it's not one of those things where anyone's immune to it. You know, I've been played in my life. I always thought I had a good eye for it, but I've been played. I had someone play me before. And it's... The hard part is some people are really good at it. You know, I call them the emotional salesman. Because they're very good at getting you to buy shit you don't need. You know, and I'm, I'm not going to mention her by name, but there's, there's this one girl in my past. Um, very pretty. You know, very intelligent. Um, but she always had a hidden agenda. She wanted something from me that it, it wasn't about love for her. It wasn't about a, a connection. It was about she wanted, I was making good money. And she wanted to be taken care of. She had no interest in love. She had no interest in loyalty. She had no interest in trust, unless it was leaning in her direction. You know, and I fell victim to it because she was, you know, she kind of, she was very good. She was very quiet. And I feel like this is where she got me. She was very quiet and she was very good at learning, you know, asking questions. You know, very good at, asking the right questions to find out what it is exactly I wanted. And she tried to act like she was that person. Um, and I fell victim to it for a little bit until it started to become more and more clear. You know, um, she fooled me for a little bit, but thankfully I figured it out. And what's funny about that is that was the last person I was with before I got with my partner now. Um, and we've been together for 15 years now. So it, it's very relevant to this. You know, I, I went from someone that wasn't really sure what they, you know, she wasn't sure what she wanted, but she knew it wasn't me. You know, I, I, very empty. And then I met Rose and I mean, she was, we had such a great connection from the beginning. I mean, you know, I felt like she wanted a future. Everything she said she wanted, I felt like that she authentically wanted it. So it is one of those things that sometimes we get pulled down by people that, you know, it's, I mean, I really felt like a sucker when I figured out what that girl wanted. You know, I, I couldn't believe that I didn't see it. And what's funny is my friends saw it. And generally they'll see it, but I wasn't ready to listen to them at the, at the beginning. I mean, I was only with her like six months, but, um, you know, and that's the worst part. Sometimes the people around us see things we don't see and they try to tell us, but Sometimes we don't want to hear it. We got to see it for ourselves. And that's what I mean with this connection. I feel like you're already kind of seeing through the veil. Um, but this person's distracting you from the person that you, you should be moving forward with. Or someone that wants to move forward with you. Someone that's offering you something real. And that's the thing with intuition. Sometimes it tells us things we don't want to hear. It's not always going to tell you what you want to hear, but it'll always tell you what you need to hear. And sometimes we just don't want to hear it. Or we're not ready to hear it. But like I said, I'm not going to tell you what... <coughs> I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. I tell you what I see. You do with what you... You do with that what you will. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.